September. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live on Balcony Banter. And that is amazing because we we just got here and I haven't even plugged the mic in. Look, here we go. <laughs> I'm talking in the mic, it's not even plugged in. Check, 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 check. And that's even better. So that's my Faulty Towers moment for the moment. <laughs> And we're going to put this one up here. Okay, this is the Wi-Fi. Let's get that up. Okay, I really okay like so we got uh, three cameras today, but uh, Christina's got one hidden. If she can unhide it, that'd be great. Can you still hear me, mother? Let me see what you're saying. Unfortunately, my little iPad gave up the ghost, so I can only look at um, comments on here. Unless um, Giuliani or Cleo's got a um, a phone that they can look at comments on. Yeah, thanks for telling me. Good evening, everyone. So we're at Little Germany. It's the one-year anniversary. Everybody's here, apart from Brianna, but she'll be coming later, and she's actually going to be a part of it today yes. because uh, she is a young, free, and jingle, as they say. Is she jingle? Hiya. Uh, Sammy. Semi-jingle. It's not Chris, it's... Uh, it's not Chris, I'll just show up like that. Semi-jingle, okay. Yeah, ask yourself. I, will, I won't I'll ask. <laughs> Can you hold that to me, please? Yeah. Okay. So we got people live here. I'm just going to clean my camera. And this one <laughs> is going... Oh, i got to get it ready. You're on camera. <laughs> Hand it and otherwise. It's weird. Oh, sorry about this, ladles and jelly spoons. This is live. This is live at 5.55. Okay. Hi, Anne Elton's every saying hells high. Uh, I'm just going to load the video that we're going to watch. So, video, USB drive. Vlog number three. Oh, oh it's on. I know where it is now. I know where it is. It's on the desktop now. Documents, <laughs> iCloud Drive, desktop. Vlog number three. Da 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 da. Done. I think that's it. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure you can hear it. So I'm going to play it actually. Uh, it's called Happy Hike. So I'm just going to play the first moment. Hi guys, Juliana here and uh, today yep, it's day it. three Good. of vlog 21. So we'll be coming back to that in a minute. So I'm just going to, Christina's doing great as the, uh, as the mic stand here. <laughs> Lass mich mal ein Foto davon machen hier. Brauch ein Foto. And Heather McCarthy saying hi Juliana. <laughs> so I've just got to go do not disturb. And then we go to switcher, and I share the device, share the camera. Cleo. Ich hab dich auch mit drauf. Then now, That's a good let's one. see if I can get the camera working. You're in the room, Ian. I'll get to you in two seconds. Uh, Eleven. Christine is really. Thingy now. Yeah. There we go. You're keeping me from drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. Is that all it takes? Chris? You're keeping me from drinking. Here we go, here she is. <laughs> She's drinking now on camera, but there you go. No stop on her now. No. So if we put this one over here, can you move me hand? I'll give me a hand, please. Thank you. There we go. That one goes there. Okay. Yeah, just like that? Nope. Just like that. Like turn it around? Uh, can you see what's, what's on it? I can see Chris. Uh, point it to both of them. Yeah, okay. I'm just in there. How's that, uh, How's that as they say? Is that better? Wider angle? Or, no, it was okay before, wasn't it? One angle. Uh, maybe if I do that. Yeah, just get the. Th that's perfect. Okay. Will it, go, it won't go down a bit, will it? No, it won't, no, no, okay. Pass you on, pass you on. 
Okay. There we go. Now Chris's uh, bag has got the other camera in it. Chris's, Chris's bag's got bag. the other camera yeah, in okay. it. Okay. So we'll just go twos up for now. There we go. Am I looking this way? I am, yes, so that's perfect. Oh no, that's the phone. Ah. It's been a terrible day today because I got something delivered and I've been playing with it. So wasting time. Wasting time. The bag. And we're going to get Ian in, right? So let's see if I can do Ian without earphones. So this is a test. If not, I'll put earphones on. But I'm going to join the room now. Is nichts weiter drin, oder? You just have the telephone in your hand. Ah, you wanted the telephone. Yeah, thank you. That's the other camera. That's the other camera. I, I was looking for a tiny little one. No, here you go. Okay. Okay, I'll do this. Yeah. No, yeah. It's fine, it was perfect, it was perfect. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, so I'm just getting the other phone ready. <laughs> You were lucky eh, with the phone because you, you were driving over the, the bag early on. Yeah. Well, got a that note, so. Found it. Yeah. So uh, you've got a microphone, so you can chat to the people. You're on. You're on camera, both of you. But are they still uh, watching? No, no, no. no the we haven't watched that. Okay. We just made sure it was okay. Okay. Well. So hello, Ian's everyone. in, Ian's but in. I don't know whether we can hear him. Let's turn this up. And look at Ian, our oh, solo Ian. Hello, Ian. Can we? Hear Hi, you? folks. Oh, Hi, folks. Oh, solo Ian. <laughs> okay, so I can't hear you. You can oh, hear yeah. me, though, right? Yeah. Yes, I can. We can't hear you, so I'm going to, have to put the earphones in. And uh, we've only got two sets of earphones. I've got Christina's and Thingies. I'm going to do without because you're going to be chatting mostly, okay. aren't you? So that's Christina's. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not chatting too much, so... Okay, I'll use yours then. Yeah. I'll stretch them though, won't I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just check to make sure that Ian's uh, thing's on, and uh, let's go threes up here. I'm still <laughs> here. <It's> live. <laughs> <laughs> this is called pre, pre preparation. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, up in okay the I, can, I can hear you now. Yep. So I'll give you Good. the only hers. Uh, you're going to be stunned for the moment, if that's all right. Well, I have my own. No, but I've, uh, the, I've only got two uh, connections on yeah, this one. Exactly. But yes. sure, I mean, I can't see you in here. No, you can't see anyway. Okay, Ian, you're all right? Yes. Okay, sir. You are all right. Two seconds. Two seconds till I get rid of this. Okay, I can, I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, we are live in balcony banter at the little germany little germany, little germany. and puts christina's thing in here get rid of that 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 let me that. see what and hi we'll ian i can hear you now with christina share hi juliana camera. how's it going good very warm share the, <laughs> no not share the screen what lovely evening here uh, share the camera say again a lovely evening in the sun yes yes one arm is getting tanned, the other in the shade. Camera 60. Aye. I don't need, I don't need to come to Tenerife for a tan. I can get it in my back garden. Yes, mm -hmm. you, you were nicely tanned. And you're obviously upside it's down. A, it's, a, it's a different kind of tan, though. So. Well, this has been the story of my life, so I'm okay with that. Okay, so, so this I, is going to be are you, you and Brianna. Uh, Ian. So, uh, not really tonight. Not really tonight. Well, no. <laughs> that will change, you know. Do you think so? Yes, I'm sure. I'm quite positive that after that hour, ah, Cleo, <laughs> you're gonna be vibing high. Now Cleo can't hear. She can hear everybody but Ian, which is a godsend. I think your wife wants one of these earphones, right? <laughs> she can hear everybody do it except Ian. <laughs> Cool dude. I can hear. I, I'm, I can't hear anybody apart from myself. How's my microphone? Okay. I can hear you lovely. Okay, cool. 
Okay, what resort is Little Germany in? It's in a village called Callao Salvaje, which is the Costa Adeji, but it's not the Costa Adeji resort. It's Costa Adeji a bit further up. So you get on a bus towards Los Gigantes, and then you come through past Playa Paraíso, and we're the next village. We are the next village. Okay, first time I've joined you in a while. Natalie Hick. Hi, Natalie. Yeah. Moira Fitzsimmons. Hi, Moira. Moira's changed the name to Moira. Has anyone oh. stayed in the H10 Atlantic Sunset hoping to stay there next year? No, but it's a very, very nice uh, uh, resort there in Playa Paraíso. Uh, people come on the 29th. Could you show us Little Germany's food menu, please? I can. You go to littlegermany.com and it's on, it's on there, but I've got the menu right here. Yeah. And uh, so... It is goulash soup, onion soup, or tomato soup to start. Let me just get my microphone back. And then garlic bread, garlic bread with tomato. I'm, I'm tipping it the wrong way, out. There you go. Uh, langostinos with garlic oil, mushrooms with aioli, salmon tartare with potato pancake, and grilled langostinos with aioli, for starters. Then there's the currywurst. For 690 and the Nuremburgers are the like the curry version but they're but they're smaller and they come with uh, sauerkraut and then we got the schnitzels these are all the different types of schnitzels so basically it's breaded escalope of whatever uh, veal or pork then we have the chicken with homemade spätzle spätzle is like a pasta uh, then rump steak, fillet steak, filly of beef with green peppers, beef roll, which I think is off the menu at the moment, and filly of pork, which is fantastic. That, that apple and pork uh, goes great. Then there's a second page. What are you having? The second page is recommendations, which is prawns to um, in beer batter, uh, fried camembert or breaded mushrooms. And then there are cheese noodles with salad, spaghetti with seafood, and spaghetti with salmon. And then hake fillet in beer batter, which is like fish and chips. It's excellent fish and chips. And then mixed salads and vegetarian dishes are vegetables with mushrooms and rice, cheese noodles with salad, vegetarian schnitzel with french fries and salad, and potato pancake with apple sauce. And that potato pancake is actually a raibadachi, so it's a slightly different than what you're used to as a potato pancake. And then it's got a children's menu and desserts to die for, apple strudel, hot love, uh, chocolate cream, and baked vanilla. And there you go. Yes? Huh? Are you tapping the leg because you love me? <laughs> it was an accident. But now I tap oh. it. Now she's tapping me like, thank you so much. So I'm really, really busy doing all this. I'm ignoring everybody online. I'm ignoring everybody at the table. I'm ignoring our wonderful guest behind us that doesn't want to be on camera because she ain't there. No, she's disappeared. She's disappeared. But uh, we met them last Sunday and her husband's gone home and she stayed. So she said she, she wanted to do, come to Little Germany for some... Uh, some food, so we said we would. Food, we would. We're still waiting on Brianna, but we're not going to wait um, to show the show the movie. So we're going to. Uh, you want to introduce the movie, Yuliani? Yes. Well, the the movie is called Happy Hike, but uh, it's actually about motivation. Motivation: how to self motivate, how to get in a better vibration, how to vibe higher. And I think uh, it starts with two questions and uh, yeah, maybe you can think about uh, uh, something you want to be put in, in the chat and yeah, and let's see if we can have a good discussion. <laughs> cool. Uh, I couldn't hear a word you were saying because I've got no? earphones on. Do you want to listen to it? Because you can have these. I've already no, listened got, to it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let me just get me things. I do apologize, but I have been... As you know. Oh, why don't I plug in my own? Oh, you can plug in your own, yeah, perfect. Wow. New one, but I had to get them for Brianna's tests. Okay. For online. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Good job I don't have a. That's good to be at him. I know. That's good to be at him. Is it in Yeah. 
Did yep. I swear? Did you hear it or was the microphone away? <laughs> Demonetized again. Demonetized again. <laughs> well, this is a bit on the bottom here though. Thank you so much. I do apologise. Shall we do, do, do the floor? I caught it as well, didn't I? You but, did, well done. But the thing was, after I caught it, it frothed over. Okay. This is nothing important, no? Good. Thank you, Shane. Hello. <laughs> Spilt my beer. Did you spill my beer? <laughs> right. Did you plug in? No, I didn't. Headphones. <laughs> you could maybe do it over there and then. Uh... Okay. Got it? Yeah. Thank you. I did the floor with this. Oh, okay. I saw them. Yeah, should be okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm also <laughs> for swearing. <laughs> I swore by accident, yeah. On accident or whatever they you call it. You knew why you took those napkins, didn't you? Yeah, we did, yeah. Yep. Oh. You knew why you went back to get the napkin. Yeah. <laughs> this is real life, ladies and gentlemen, real life. <laughs> Thingsthathappen.com <laughs> So, I'm going to give you the microphone as well, Cleo, in case you want to comment. No, well, I'd like to just listen. Okay. <sighs> Here we Hi, go, Cleo. ladies and gentlemen. Hi, yeah. How are you doing, Ian? Not Ian, too bad. Was that was that enjoy your break, did you? I have, well, I've been working non-stop. I haven't had a break yet. Oh, you haven't had your break yet. No, no, no. So, first of all, what I'm going to do very busy. is I'm going to just lighten up Cleo there. Exposure well, I plus. I've been lightening me up. Have I really <laughs> <laughs> lighten up. There you go. Anna hasn't even arrived yet. The only sort of thing she says to me. Well, she's Spanish. This is true. Well, she's Spanish, yeah. Canarian. Okay. Canarian, yeah. Okay, ladies and jelly spoons. Um, I can hear myself somewhere. Have you turned... Ah, it's you. I can hear myself... I can hear myself talking in the background. No, no, it's okay. It's just in case it feeds back. But it won't feed back. It'll be all right. It'll be all right on the night. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to play the music, are we? Let's play, let's play this first. Now, you'll still be able to talk uh, over, over yourself, but you want to mute whilst the video's on. Shall we mute you while the video's on? Hi guys, Juliana here and uh, today it's day three of vlog 21 and today we were out in sunny Tenerife uh, on our super hike here with my friend and we have prepared some yeah question and answers for you <laughs> so go ahead so the first thing was when you keep having bad things happening in your life obviously you're down of energy how can you switch to positive thinking and how can you maintain these positive thoughts yeah that's a very uh, good question because uh, sometimes in life you you have issues like um, that you cannot really help maybe things in your family are happening or with friends or you yourself you don't feel in the right spot so um, what what you can do first of all it, it starts of, uh, of course with uh, your your proper uh, own will uh, to um, move from uh, from the um, negative side to the positive side so this is uh, your own will that that uh, decides in the end 
if you want to um, to shift or not, or if you want to remain in uh, in the in the in the negative situation and uh, just stay stick where you are. Uh, so um, once you made the decision um, that uh, you want to get to the light, to the positive side, then um, it's um, yeah. Then uh, you you have many uh, options that uh, that you can go out. For example, like we are doing right now, we're here out uh, doing a hike out in nature. Nature is always very calming and uh, soothing, also for the mind. Because it allows you to um, to see things uh, more clearly, and um, and I think um, it's it as it calms your mind, you you can think um, more clearly about what you want and how you um, better um, want to move things forward. So um, yeah, nature very powerful, of course. That's a, a good thing to do to to go out. But of course, this does not happen like every day. So like tomorrow, uh, we're not going to go for a hike. You're not going on a hike every day. So um, or there are days when you when you come from work and you are just so, um, yeah, so tired or not not full of energy anymore. So um, then it's it would be easy to go back to uh, to like, oh, well, uh, it's um, all this shit, all, all is negative, um, so I, I just stay uh, there where I am. But um, but then the willpower needs to shift you again. Your own will needs to be so strong, your desire to move to the light side um, needs to get so, uh, so strong and uh, you can do, for example, uh, jogging or whatever, singing or meet with friends. Um, so let's say find a way to disconnect disconnect exactly so mm, mm, find your own your own thing that um, that is mm, beneficial for you um, and uh, and do it on a regular basis that's I think um, the most important to not uh, just uh, do it once but uh, regularly so um, then what what um, this um, causes is um, uh, it's becoming a habit. So uh, you are actually um, uh, in getting into the habit of uh, feeling in a in a good wave, on a good frequency, on a good vibe. How I always say. <laughs> so, yeah. And any suggestion on how to maintain this good vibe? Like, because one day you will be more motivated, yes. you know, you go out, you do stuff that makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. Other days it, it will take you, you yeah. know, you don't feel like to do that. Exactly. Well, um, like your your proper will uh, will take care of it. But but still, um, uh, you could uh, like mm, uh, also um, put music music is very powerful so you could play happy music or play mantras or uh, do yoga uh, or meditation anything uh, that allows you to uh, reconnect uh, with your inner self uh, and um, your inner ones uh, is uh, is positive to uh, to get um, get the, the the positive flow moving so yeah <laughs> are you in a positive mood in the, in how in, can you not be in a good vibe in, in here right here <laughs> right now well we still have to go all the way down there <laughs> exactly yep we're well here and no, it's not the peak but anyway um it's very nice and lovely the, the sun is still shining here in sunny tenerife and uh yeah looking forward to do more videos tomorrow um, we're gonna have video number four uh, in vlog 21 and uh, tomorrow we're gonna have another topic for you if you have any questions um, uh, for us then uh, just raise them on the youtube channel or on facebook thank you guys and bye for now
in the room. And we're back on. And we're back in the room yes. now. And, and we're back, back in the on. room now. Okay, so we're joined now by uh, somebody else who's not on camera yet, so don't worry. But well, you'll be on camera in a minute. And uh, the only two people with microphones is me and Yuliani. So Yuliani is uh, microphoning as we speak. Oh, sorry, guys. She's going to spill the beer again. Plug it up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So Julian, Ian, Julian is the only one that can hear you now because. Uh, yes, I can hear you, Ian. Cool All right. Very good. Yes. Good. So we're just going to introduce our new guest. This is Brian. <laughs> and uh, this is Brianna. This is the uh, younger sister of Cleo. <laughs> Coming, chairman. I paid to watch it. There you go. <laughs> Say hello. Good Say afternoon, hiya. everybody. How are we all doing? Oh, this is cool. <laughs> and she's yeah, got Mel. no worries about going uh, online because uh, she's a star. Yeah. She's a dancer, singer, actor, um, everything. She's she's really really good. We follow her all the time, don't we, kids? I think so. Yeah, we know. So. <laughs> so um, if you can place that in a position that we can get both people in, that might be good. You've got to watch. You've got to look. Turn I'm it around sorry. so you can see it. Okay. No, no. You have to turn it around so you can see it. I see it. I see it. So there you I go. put them in the place. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Yeah, no, it's all right. It's the bad side, I think it's good. Under the bad side. You have a bad yes. side, baby. Yeah. I do. A nice frame. Bad side, baby. Oh, no, oh, no. I'm dating myself. I size baby. Okay, Yuliani, would you like to kick off the discussion? Yes. Okay. Well, Who wants the, um, the microphone? Who wants the microphone? Just grab it. Well, anyway, uh, the, the blog was about a hike uh, and I obviously did it out in nature with my friend at that time, three years ago. Uh, but it was uh, more uh, to, to get uh, motivation kicking in and uh, to get maybe out of a dark spot or a low vibration. And, uh, and get yourself motivated a little bit more. So uh, I was just uh, while watching or listening to the video, looking through the, uh, through the comments. And I think uh, this uh, community, uh, yeah, the viewers and I mean our table always, even uh, if the last, uh, the last uh, BBs were offline, and uh, remote uh, have created a really good community to feel better and to raise uh, vibration. That's uh, what we aim to achieve. So, Ian, thank you very much again for uh, yeah for suggesting to to show and to feature the the vlog 21 videos, which you actually rediscovered. They were in the back there at some uh, at some point. Um, three years ago, they were created, and now uh, they are remodeled. If you want, uh, if you want so. So thank you for that. How? Very good. You're welcome. How um, do you find um, motivation? If if there's something, uh, well, obviously there were moments um, throughout maybe COVID or um, now throughout the pandemic or the winter months in Scotland. I think uh, they are quite uh, grey and, and dark. So how do you motivate yourself in those moments, Ian? First of all, Juliana, I hope you enjoyed your hike. Oh, yes. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> eh? I love hiking. Uh, and uh, Tenerife is ideal to do so. <laughs> all right. Yeah. What, what I picked out of your uh, blog, we'll call it, was two words. Yes. That one means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Willpower. Yeah. If Very. if you don't have the willpower and can't generate the willpower, mm -hmm. you can find yourself in a very negative situation. Yeah. Yeah. What Absolutely. you what you asked me earlier on there is. I look on myself as a happy person. I don't like looking at the negative. So I find it quite easy mm -hmm. to motivate myself into something. It gives me great willpower and a great desire.
to, to go ahead and do something to get okay. into something good you know good. So but I, on the other hand i would say if i wasn't a happy go lucky person it would yeah. be a completely different situation altogether so really to me it depends an awful lot on your own personality your own fatigue or whatever you want to call it yeah. i'm not very good at words but i think you know what i mean yes i know and understand what you mean so you you would would you describe yourself as being programmed to uh to be a, a positive person or more outlooking uh, uh yeah on the bright side of life are you programmed to be no. that way no i'm no i'm I'm no program like a robot. No, no, no. Uh, well, don't understand me like, <laughs> no, I'm, uh, like I'm, I'm talking yeah, Robocop yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go back a few stages, a good few years. And I think I said this before on some of the shows. It's something you're either born with, you uh -huh. inherit it, and it's passed through the generations. Yes. Yeah. If you've been if you've been brought up with a happy family, always positive, always looking forward, you inherit that. It's the yes. same I, to me. It's the same in, in my school days. Uh, I enjoyed my school days. I enjoyed the company. I enjoy I enjoy my work. I, I, yeah. I think I've said that before. I mean, not really. You're 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 three quarters of the way there to, to motivating yeah. yourself. Yes. Right away. So you have a very good outlook and very good attitude towards life. That uh, that usually helps a lot. And now I just want to ask um, um, ask Chris because um, obviously you you are not going hiking so much. No. <laughs> but that is our activity. But uh, you have another uh, recipe that you um, y yeah you how do you raise your vibes? I just want to be alone for a while and listen to music. Listen to music, and uh, for instance, if uh, if you are um, in a in a low moment, what kind of music do you choose to listen? And I'm I'm asking choose, choose like some kind of light rock music, preferring. Uh -huh. Preferably not um, love songs. Not love songs? Because love songs, I think they're just overrated sometimes. Yeah, and can get uh, depressing. Yeah, because <laughs> there's the more important things to, to life than falling in love with somebody and with somebody who's really special. And, Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, um, th they are uh, definitely life uh, stories. Yeah. But um, but that's a, an interesting uh, thing you're saying, like l uh, lighter music. Would you say that um, that music can uh, raise your vibration? Yeah, definitely. If I'm in the mood for music. Yeah. And also Cabri helps a lot if yeah. I listen to Cabri. And then, do you sing along with the music? Does that cheer you up? Thank God, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, anyway. uh, you've got these earphones now. That okay. You well. can take the sound of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you guys want to share your your secrets for yeah raising your vibes? It's right down there. It's right down there. The yeah. sea, the sea, the beautiful sea. The that's sea. that's what got me through all of last year as well, wasn't it, Brianna? Oh, yeah. When I had my operation, the one thing I kept asking the doctors after I had my back operation was, when can I get back into the sea? Exactly. Yeah. And uh, it, I swim every day, and it is the only thing. I've missed my swim today to be here, guys. Yeah. But it's the thing. That's the thing that keeps me going. That's where I dissolve my problems. Good. Yeah, it's obviously nature. Yeah, I mean, and well, I'm talking the sea, not the pool, the some sea. Some go hiking, some go uh, Yeah, to I the go sea. agua hiking Yeah. in the sea. But oh. it's where I resolve problems, yeah. where I work out what needs to be done, yeah. what doesn't need to be done, mm -hmm. who needs to be ignored, Yeah. what needs to be said, Yeah. how it needs to be said. And it's also, um, it's also a good 
for walking by the by the beach that grounds you as well no and I need to be floating <laughs> yeah I know to be grounded I need to float <laughs> yeah. do you find that when you are down by the beach and you um, you put your feet on the ground and you have contact with the soil with the sand in that case uh, do you uh, do you find it that the stress gets sucked out of you no so when I'm in the water only in the water yeah and it, it's it's a physical and mental release because I was so many years in pain and the minute I entered the water the pain would literally disappear yeah. Yeah. Um, so it has obviously become psychologically connected yes. for me with mental pain as well as physical pain. Yeah. So when I enter the water, it's when I release yeah. my Very physical good. and mental stresses. And I mean, swimming is always good for your back uh, anyway. It's good for, ev and it's good for everything. And it's good I, for what ails. And uh, coming back to uh, what we are always talking about uh, uh, in the now, do you think uh, that, uh, that it also helps you um, be more in the in the present moment. Oh, very much so. Yeah, because it it helps me. Well, ask Brianna because she knows I can. Brianna, as I do overstress things sometimes, but when I come back from the beach, I'm generally more relaxed. Sometimes, <laughs> Jesus Christ, woman, you overthink everything. I know, yeah, but um, seeing Mum throughout the years with her back and the operation, swimming has really become a thing. Like for her, she feels happy when she floats like she can feel like she's not in pain anymore like she's a little kid again no pain no suffering <laughs> no walking you know the olden days you know she's so old now oh, guys thank you. <laughs> i know but i think it's lovely i also love to go for swims i go I, i've been at the beach literally every day this summer it's the best thing ever it's always nice and clear refreshing and so much like sea life and wildlife so i think Swimming is one of the best things you can do. Yeah. yeah. Keep the microphone, please. Me? Keep it, because I'm going to ask you a question as well me before too. you start munching. Okay, okay perfect. <laughs> All right. Could, could I? Could, could, could I yeah. come in? Yeah, that? come in, but don't yeah. eat the that, food, that. Ian. I can't hear anything now. But yeah. Hear Ian. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? I can. I can indeed. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? No. <laughs> Yeah, you, you're, you're saying it's okay, get into the sea, enjoy the water and everything like that. But what about the people that don't have access to swimming pools, to water, to beaches? How do they, I mean, how would you say to them, go out and sort of motivate yourself? Come to Tenerife. No, um, well, you can do it with not just swimming. You can also go for walks, enjoy nature, like... It's always the small things that mean the most. You can always oh, go for a walk. I love to go for walks with my friends. I'm like an old person. Um, it is true, though. You like a punch as well. Like no, I, yeah. I, like, I would, I would, yeah. Like I would definitely we have, agree with you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have loads of mountains, loads of natural wildlife, and it's lovely, the smell of fresh air. It's gorgeous. Of cut grass. I love it. So just to go around yeah. for a walk and just enjoy the views and the scenery, like, it's always the small things that mean the most. So I think that's how you should, you know, get your adrenaline in and enjoy the most of it and you yes. are uh, yeah a dancer your mom has told us all about it yes dancing. i've been dancing since i was three years old exactly so uh, so has that been uh, something that helped you as well throughout the the time now yes but it was difficult when quarantine first started i remember i had to do online classes it was really hard because i didn't have space to do my kicks so i would always hit my foot on a door <laughs> or on a table or something loads of bruises but it was so something to look forward to. Oh great, I've got dance now. And as soon as we started again in like in person, it was the best ever. Like I had a free space to dance, do turns, sleeps, acting also. Uh, I don't really like singing, we could say it, but I have to do it. But acting and dancing, it's been the best thing ever since quarantine has started. I'm excited. I'm moving away now in September to start a two year B Tech course of musical theatre, which I'm very excited for. I hope you all miss me very much. <laughs> yeah, very good. Totally. All, the, all the best. I came to know you today, but I already you. miss exactly. you right now. So yeah, that has really helped me throughout quarantine. I'm just really excited for the next part of my life. Okay. Yeah. And how, how do you think is like routine playing uh, a role in that? Very well, actually. Um, do you make do, do, I do you make, make it routines. a routine uh, to, I make to do all routines. the things you are passionate about? I do, yeah, I do. Um, this year, actually, with my one of my best friends, Lorena, 
what we did because of COVID and everything. Our school classes were from two to seven in the afternoon. So we decided, all right, let's make a routine. So what we did was we'd go to the gym in the morning and go straight to school after because uh, the high school and the gym were right in front of each other. Mm -hmm. So routine was gym, school, go home, eat, do your homework, and the days you have dance, you stay out later. And it was a routine, and I feel I loved it very much, honestly. I'd rather have classes in the afternoon now because I feel I do more in the day. So having a routine makes me feel more motivated to do things, and like, I can do this. It makes me feel yeah. like I can accomplish this. So I think routines are very important. Yeah. You just ate my chip. Okay, I will release you now because uh, Tim is too greedy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Thank you, Rihanna. <laughs> and there's you, and that's my daughter. For telling us the life of Brian. Yeah. Cleo, Cleo, thank you very much for that. Thoroughly enjoyed that, Cleo. Ian says thank you very much, love. He thank says you oh, turned. Thanks, Ian. And thank you. <laughs> She's. In questions. fact, I have to say, during the first three months of lockdown, I mean, Brianna was locked in the house for three months because I wasn't even allowed to take her shopping. We did workouts together. And fun. she organised daily workout routines. So at yes, five o'clock, I had to stop working, it. and she organised the, the whole thing. Yeah. She was yeah. the trainer. I did the same with my mom. Yeah. Uh, she was Excellent. in Germany, Excellent. and uh, and I was here. Yeah. Uh, and then every morning at ten a.m. Yeah. Uh, I had a Skype call yeah. with her. But she was yeah. fifteen at the time when she yeah, did this, so and and she didn't day. let me away with anything. Yeah. <laughs> She, yeah. she still never doesn't let me away with anything. I'm going, I'm going to miss her. That's a that's a good. Could you turn the camera just to Cleo because oh, we don't yeah. know what she means. I mean, we okay. don't know what she means. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. That's it. Yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's your North style. Was uh, is your yeah. North style? Yeah. I mean, what? I'm going to have new challenges now come September because I have to redesign my life. Yeah. No, you don't. It's going to be easier without mm. her. It's going to be easier without her. She says. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Come back and ask me in I a think, few months. <laughs> I think I think it's uh, now especially important that you uh, focus on the positive. Absolutely, and, I can't uh, wait. And I'm sure you you will be doing the oil paintings best. I will be selling by the end of the year that I will have taught myself to do will be top class. They'll be going for thousands. Jackson Pollock. I'm telling you. Yeah. Tracy, <laughs> Tracy, what's her name? Tracy M M M M M. I can't remember. <laughs> Do we have any questions from our viewers? I've been looking and they've been mo mostly talking amongst themselves, but uh, we did get a 449 um, thing from um, Meziani Farag. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to be soloing me for two seconds here to let these guys have a little bit of a rest. I'd like to thank Yuliani, Ian and Brianna and Cleo and of course my wife, Christina, for, uh, for doing this. It was... Um, it's, it's pretty hard to do it outside, I realised. <laughs> and I, re I really should have brought my mixing desk, but then we wouldn't have been ready till 8 o'clock, so. <laughs> or I would have to be here. Thank you so much for the donation. If I missed another donation, I do do apologise. If I didn't miss another donation... <laughs> Why the hell not? But, yeah. Um, um, just to let you know, the Mac Master and Darren John have landed. I've talked with them both. And well, I talked with Lee, and uh, but we sort of texted to Darren and the Dan, and they're going to meet tonight, and they're going to do a spontaneous live tonight. So at seven o'clock they're going to go live, which is in 20 minutes. So don't forget to nip over to Lee's channel, the Mac Master, to see that one. And um, Darren and Lee are going to do vlogs for the next four days till Sunday, and I think Darren's leaving on Sunday night. So, um, but Monday, Lee's staying an extra week, and on Monday, he's going to come over to meet up Monday here in Kayao Savachi, the bus number 473, get off at Kayao Savachi and go upstairs to the Terrasa El Jable, and uh, we'll be there for you, so that'll be, that'll be pretty good. Ian, I'm going to actually bring in the whole mixing desk there, so we're going to have uh, loads of things and we can get you online uh, I'm, I'm not even going to bother using the Apple earphones anymore I just can't do it so it's all going to be plugged straight in I can't hear you right now unfortunately because I didn't plug my earphones in but that's okay because he's just laughing he's just laughing okay <laughs> so the, que the questions were 
Uh, I'm a felt and fabric artist, so working on a project with music and whiskey later. That's Trisha Slater. Uh, Anne-Marie, Heather and Ali, true for me. Foot slowly healing, so they were chatting amongst us. That's lovely. We just love this channel, and Tim and everyone cheers us up. Wow, Tim and every wow. Tim and everyone. I like, I like it. It's me, it's me and everyone. Yeah, it's Tim and everyone. There you go. So when they're looking back at this, I mean, I know Cleo doesn't watch it back because you know she says, "Been there, done that." I'm going swimming. Yeah, I'm go yeah. I'm going better swimming. than life. Can you give me an underwater tablet? You got me up. An, an underwater tablet, there you go. What do you mean, like an iPad? <laughs> I watch it when I'm swimming. Okay, okay, an underwater tablet. I thought, she was gonna, I thought it was a tablet she was going to take. <laughs> okay, you couldn't hear what she said. She said you wanted an underwater tablet, which obviously is a, some, some sort of iPad. Yeah, just, uh, this you know. chip just fell off the plate, so I'm going to eat it, because, you know, Tim's very Tim's dirty. Mm. What are we doing? Okay, uh, I can't go back any further on the comments. I do apologize for that because my little iPad fell out. But, um. It went down the wrong way. Okay. So I do apologize. What are we going to do now? Sorry, I missed the chat. I was on the phone. Moira Fitzsimmons. Oh dear. Don't worry. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll play the video again and then we'll repeat everything we said. And uh, I wanted to ask Brianna a question as well, but um, I, I usually would ask her beforehand if I could ask it. And she's, she's gone now, unfortunately. <laughs> um, we've all been talking about the whole problem with COVID is the young people and the botellones. Is that true? Nope. It's... No, honestly, it's not. You have everyone saying it's always the young kids fall, doing butter yawns and everything, but it's not that true. People do do them, and that is part of the problem, but they are not the problem. Everyone is the problem. As I, I have gone on a few da a few times downtown to Veronica's, my friends have gone camping, hang out with them, and no one has ever done a butter yawn that I've seen. We have our own little glasses, our bottles, very small bottles. Everyone, what, what we all do is get a bottle of Coke, pour a bit of vodka into it, and no, don't share it. Me. Oh, you've always known. And we do, we're like, we're none, no one's stupid. We all know what the situation is. And There's it's all not. And kissing and, and rubbing yeah. shoulders and getting close and all that to get the game. Back. Yeah, we're all wearing full clothed masks. You like in the laboratories. Like in the bars, they have, that they're quite strict by tables like, and stuff. Like oh, no, they like are. A body condom. Exactly. No, but I'm serious. With the Botian, is no one's that selfish. Obviously, you have the typical people in the north who will do a few butty on a Friday after school, but it's not—they're not the problem. It's part of the problem sometimes, but yeah, definitely it's not the that. problem. Definitely. So there's. Thank you so much. Much. And I just want—I just want to tell everybody that Brianna was born and raised here, and that she speaks perfect um, English with an Irish with an Irish accent. An Irish American accent, I would say. They always say that to me. Yeah, an Irish American accent. The that, the and that. perfect Canarian. <laughs> and also, you can actually speak Castellano as well, right? Well, I think, yeah. What about like Catalonia? Catalonia, you can speak as well? I can, say, I can, count, I can count to ten and say God. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can count to ten and say God in Chinese. Yat uh, ye, sam se, um luk chapa kao sap. And there is no God. You can do it in Irish. Right, we believe you. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm eating, I'm eating. You know, because my daughter's not here, I have to pick on you. I know, I know, but Jesus Christ, I'm eating. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's quarter two now. We're going to order our food. Uh, yeah. You get ready for the MacMaster live at seven o'clock uh, on his channel. And we're going to let you all go now. I, I'm going to watch this back later because I didn't get everything that was going on. I shall relax and watch it back later if I'm not playing with my new camera. That's more likely. <laughs> that is more likely, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to finish it here. I want to thank Ian for joining us here, even though we're out, half of us aren't listening to you. And but. Uh, I, you are an, Ian is an integral yep. part of the You're system. In fact, he's not only an integral part of the system, but he is 
If I can get this down here, where is he? He no, is no the, the executive producer. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, you should be here. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. I, I wish. In December, right? Ian? In wow. November. In December, yeah. November. Oh, there we go. One, Chips two, on three, four. Chips on the table. Yeah. If they fall on the table, we get them. Well, that dogs we are. Okay, ladies and jelly spoons. I'd like to thank each and every one of you who are here, each and every one of you online, each and every one of you in the comments and all the people that, that uh, supported us by watching the, uh, the video, uh, the, the adverts, or by being a member, or by giving us some donations, either online or um, anonymously at timothydow.com. And we would like to thank each and every one of you. Tonight is the one year anniversary postponed mm -hmm. of Balcony Banter, so we're coming out and we're eating tonight, and you guys have made this possible. I'd like to thank you, and we're going to say ta -ra. So we're going to sing Vamos a la Playa. Ooh, ooh. We don't have it on the thing, but we'll do it. And what do we have next week? Huh? Oh, next, next week. week. What's, what is next week's? It's Attitude of Gratitude. And you already said thank you to everyone, so that fits in perfectly. The Attitude of Gratitude. Yep. Next week, if you want to see it beforehand, nip over to Juliani Nendel's uh, channel, and or go to her website, julianandendel.com, and that links to the YouTube channel and nip over there and have a, la a look at vlog 21 number four yeah. and you get a preview of what we're going to do next week so uh, i'm going to solo myself now if you want to all say goodbye and au revoir hasta luego hasta la vista bye everybody baby. thank and you company. and i'll go on here and i'll say hey google thinks you might like to watch this one next and if you want to sponsor the channel, you can go to the little square button in the corner there. And if you're not subscribed for free, then consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. This is Tim Down for Living with MS in Tenerife with everybody else on the table and online saying goodbye. Bye. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs>